In the annals of archaeology, few discoveries ignite the imagination like that of the Folkton drums. Imagine, if you will, the year 1889. A burial mound in Folkton, Yorkshire, England is being carefully excavated. Among the skeletal remains of three children something unexpected emerges from the earth, three enigmatic chalk cylinders. These were no ordinary objects, they were meticulously crafted, adorned with strange markings, and seemed to whisper of a hidden purpose. These were the Folkton drums, and their emergence marked the beginning of a century-long quest to decipher their secrets. The discovery of the Folkton drums sent ripples of excitement through the fledgling field of archaeology. Here, it seemed, were artifacts of immense antiquity, offering a tangible link to the distant past. But what did they mean? What purpose did they serve? And what could they tell us about the people who created them? These questions would captivate researchers for generations to come, fueling countless theories and speculations. The drums, it seemed, held within their silent forms the key to unlocking a forgotten chapter of human history. To understand the significance of the Folkton drums, we must journey back in time to Neolithic Britain, a period spanning roughly 4000 to 2500 BC. This was an era of profound transformation, as hunter-gatherer societies gradually gave way to settled agricultural communities. The landscape was dotted with burial mounds, monumental tombs that served as both final resting places for the dead and enduring testaments to the living. These mounds were more than just graves, they were sacred spaces, imbued with ritual significance and often aligned with celestial events. The people of Neolithic Britain were deeply connected to the rhythms of nature. They observed the movements of the sun, moon and stars, developing a sophisticated understanding of time and cycles. Their lives were intertwined with the seasons, their rituals and beliefs often centered around the cycles of life, death, and rebirth. In this context, the burial of the dead was not seen as an end but rather as a transition, a passage into another realm. The Folkton drums, found within the embrace of a burial mound, offer a tantalizing glimpse into the beliefs and practices of these ancient people. Crafted from locally sourced chalk, the Folkton drums are cylindrical in shape, each measuring approximately 6 inches in height and 4 inches in diameter. Their smooth surfaces, polished to a soft sheen, are adorned with intricate geometric patterns, carefully incised with a sharp tool. These patterns are not random doodles, they are deliberate and precise, suggesting a deeper meaning or purpose. Circles, dots and chevrons are repeated in various configurations, hinting at a system of symbolism yet to be fully deciphered. One of the most intriguing aspects of the drums is their varying sizes. The largest drum is almost twice the height of the smallest, and each drum features a corresponding number of horizontal bands encircling its circumference. This observation, coupled with the presence of the drums within a burial context, has led some researchers to speculate that they may have been more than just decorative objects. Could these enigmatic cylinders have served a practical or even ritualistic function? The answer, it seems, lies hidden within the very patterns that adorn their surfaces. Recent research has shed new light on the potential purpose of the Folkton drums. Scholars have noted a striking correlation between the dimensions of the drums and ancient units of measurement. Intriguingly, the circumference of the largest drum, when divided by the number of its horizontal bands, corresponds closely to a unit of length known as the long foot which was used in the construction of Stonehenge and other Neolithic monuments. This discovery has led to the tantalizing theory that the Folkton drums may have been used as measuring devices, perhaps employed in the planning and construction of large-scale structures. Could these unassuming chalk cylinders have played a role in the creation of some of Britain's most iconic prehistoric monuments? The possibility is both intriguing and plausible, offering a glimpse into the ingenuity and sophistication of Neolithic engineers. Section 5, a measuring system for the ancients decoding the units of the drums. The notion of the Folkton drums as measuring tools gains further credence when we consider the wider context of Neolithic Britain. Evidence suggests that these early builders possessed a sophisticated understanding of geometry and measurement. Stonehenge, with its precise alignments and astronomical significance, stands as a testament to their skill. The discovery of other artifacts, such as the cubit rods found at various Neolithic sites, further supports the idea of a standardized system of measurement in use during this period. The Folkton drums, with their potential link to the Longfoot unit, 
could represent a tangible manifestation of this ancient system. Their varying sizes and the presence of horizontal bands suggest a deliberate attempt to create a set of standardized measures, perhaps used to ensure consistency and accuracy in construction projects. The drums in this sense could be seen as the Neolithic equivalent of modern-day measuring tapes, albeit crafted from chalk and imbued with symbolic significance. Section 6. Echoes of the Drums. Similar Artifacts and Their Implications. The Folkton drums are not unique in their form or design. Similar cylindrical artifacts, often crafted from chalk or bone, have been unearthed at other Neolithic sites across Britain and Ireland. These objects, known as ball-shaped maceheads, share a number of intriguing characteristics with the drums, including their cylindrical shape, intricate carvings, and association with burial contexts. The discovery of these related artifacts strengthens the case for a wider cultural significance attached to such objects. It suggests that the Folkton drums were not isolated anomalies but rather part of a broader tradition of crafting and using cylindrical objects for both practical and symbolic purposes. The precise function of these objects may have varied from place to place and over time, but their recurring presence hints at a shared belief system and a common understanding of their importance. Section 7. The Stonehenge Connection. Did the drums help build a wonder? The potential connection between the Folkton drums and the construction of Stonehenge is perhaps the most tantalizing aspect of their story. Stonehenge, with its massive stones arranged in a precise circular pattern, stands as one of the most iconic and enigmatic prehistoric monuments in the world. Its construction, which spanned several centuries and involved the transportation of huge stones over vast distances, would have required a high degree of planning, coordination, and engineering skill. Could the Folkton drums, with their potential use as measuring devices, have played a role in this monumental undertaking? Imagine, if you will, Neolithic engineers using the drums to measure distances, calculate angles, and ensure the precise placement of the stones. The drums in this context become more than just artifacts, they become tools that helped shape the very landscape of prehistoric Britain. Section 8. Unraveling the Secrets, Ongoing Research and Future Discoveries Despite decades of study, the Folkton drums continue to hold on to their secrets. While the theory of their use as measuring tools is compelling, it remains just that. A theory. Further research, utilizing advanced imaging techniques and comparative analysis with other Neolithic artifacts, is needed to unlock the full extent of their purpose and significance. The quest to understand the Folkton drums is a testament to the enduring power of human curiosity. These enigmatic objects, crafted by hands long turned to dust, continue to challenge our assumptions and inspire us to look deeper into the past. With each new discovery, we gain a greater appreciation for the ingenuity and sophistication of our ancestors, and we come one step closer to unraveling the mysteries of their world. Section 9. Time Travelers in Stone, Connecting with the Builders of the Past The Folkton drums are more than just artifacts. They are tangible links to a distant past, connecting us to the people who walked the earth thousands of years ago. As we hold these objects in our hands, we can't help but feel a sense of wonder and awe at the skill and artistry of their creators. We marvel at their ingenuity, their ability to create beauty and order in a world far different from our own. The drums invite us to contemplate the lives of those who came before us. What did they believe? What did they dream? How did they view their place in the cosmos? These are questions that may never be fully answered, but the Folkton drums with their silent whispers of a forgotten past urge us to keep searching, to keep exploring, and to keep asking questions. Section 10. The Enduring Allure of the Drums, A Legacy of Mystery and Wonder. The Folkton drums, despite their diminutive size, loom large in the imagination. They are a testament to the enduring power of mystery, to our innate desire to understand the unknown. Their story is a reminder that the past is not a closed book, but rather an ongoing conversation, a dialogue between generations separated by millennia. As we continue to explore the world around us both physically and intellectually we can be sure that new discoveries will continue to challenge our assumptions and reshape our understanding of the past. The Folkton drums with their enduring allure and their promise of untold secrets stand as a beacon guiding us on our journey of discovery. Section 11. Join the Quest. 
What secrets do the Folkton drums hold for you? The story of the Folkton drums is not over. It is a story that continues to unfold with each passing generation, as new technologies and new perspectives shed light on their secrets. What will the future hold for these enigmatic objects? What new discoveries await us? The answers, dear reader, lie not just in the hands of archaeologists and historians, but in your own curiosity and imagination. Take a moment to reflect on the Folkton drums on their journey through time and on the mysteries they hold. What do they mean to you? What stories do they tell? The quest to understand the past is a journey we all share. So, join the quest, explore the possibilities, and let your imagination soar. The Folkton drums, with their silent whispers of a forgotten age, await your interpretation.